Howdy partners! Hey everyone, I'm Mel. I'm Sam. And we are from the Good Life Groupers. Today we're going to be talking to you about um, how we fell into bus life and the hurdles that we faced to get there. Alright, so um, a few years ago we got married. How many years ago was that? Four. <laughs> And about a month after we got married, we fell pregnant with Marley, our oldest, and she's three and a half years old now. And we were saving for a house because we thought, you know, having a kid, we should save for a house. Um, and yeah, after like two years of saving for a house and being pregnant then with Flo um, and trying really hard to get into the property market, we realized that maybe buying a house wasn't the right time for us. Um, because Sam was the only one working and he was working long hours and yeah so we thought maybe there was something else for us to do so instead we then built a, a granny flat at your we'll call it that because it's an illegal structure at the moment <laughs> we then um, decided that we'd build a granny flat in Sam's parents backyard the studio was already there so we just had to add on how many more meters six by five made of concrete slab to put just a living walkthrough, living room and dining room and a small bedroom. Yep, so we did that. And we did that while we were heavily pregnant with Flo and then continued on. How old would she have been when we finished? Two, three months? Yeah, she was about two, three months before we actually finished. So we're doing renovations with a two-year-old and like a newborn, which was a bit crazy. Um, but luckily we had family to help, which was awesome. Um, and then after that we were saving for a few months and um, we realized that it was just going to be too hard for us to buy a house and that we'd have to wait for myself to go back to work in a year or so's time to work full time and for Sam to work full time and then we'd have to put two kids in childcare and that would then cost more money as well and then we'd, and we'd have to stay in that one place where we could get cheaper rent and live there for quite a while. Um, so anyways, we decided maybe we should do something else and and then a friend of ours um, showed us a picture on Instagram of a family selling their bus and we thought, why not? <laughs> yeah, three days later we bought it. Yeah, it was really fast. We didn't have time to think about it. We literally... Or check the price of other buses that age because, you know, I won't say that. Yeah, but we didn't have time to think about it. Um, we literally, what happened? We literally uh, looked it on Instagram. The guy was heading from Byron Bay to Melbourne. We called him up. He was going to be passing through Sydney um, in two days' time from when I spoke to him. And he said, if you're that keen, you'll come have a look at it first before everyone else in Sydney. Because we live an hour and a half south of Sydney, we had to jump in the car on a Friday night and meet him in Avoca in North Sydney. It took us about two and a half hours to drive there and we got there at about 9.30 <coughs> on a Friday night. Checked the bus out in the dark and um, Mel loved it and made us buy it. I did. I knew that if we thought about it too long it either may not happen or it was going to take months to happen. So I just thought let's just buy it and do it. And actually luckily we did because we then fell pregnant with Daisy. We actually Again. were pregnant. 
while we're buying the bus and we didn't know. We were... Um, was, How fertile am I? <laughs> I was actually three months pregnant. Um, before I realised, we decided to wait four weeks. Um, to Yeah, before going to the ultrasound place to find out whether we were having a baby or not, how everything was going, and they told us actually you're 16 weeks pregnant. So that was a huge shock. And Flo was only four months old, so that was just so hectic. Um, so fertile. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of lucky that we did actually buy the bus when we did, because if we had found out that we are pregnant first, we wouldn't have bought the bus. We would have been at home. Um, Sam would have just been still working full time. I'd be at home with three kids. Um, and we know how hectic that is because we did that before hopping into the bus. So we bought the bus in September um, and then we left in the following August. So we had the bus for 11 months before we hit the road. Um, yeah. So I guess um, some of the hurdles that we faced with getting the bus on the road, um, where we fell pregnant in between buying the bus and actually getting on the road. So then, so we had this five seater bus sorry four seater bus and we needed to have five seats in it so then we had to go and get an extra seat put in which meant sacrificing the beautiful dining room table and dining lounge yeah. storage space it was so sad it was beautiful but in order to replace that we put a table on the outside of the bus which has been good because we eat every meal outside now and after nine weeks of driving we haven't had one day of rain we've had a night of rain but it's so good to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner outside every night. Cup of tea for sunrise, cup of tea for sunset. It's unreal. I love eating outside. Yeah, it's been really handy. We're glad um, that we put that table on the bus. Actually, were we thinking about maybe not putting it on the bus at one stage? Oh, well, I don't think we cared because we weren't living in it. We didn't really know. We just thought we'd all just sit in yeah. our car seats and eat. But yeah. that was just a silly idea. Yep, so that's really come in handy. Um, but yeah, so we, we had to put a new seat in the bus, get rid of the dining table and the seating, which we thought, okay, so what are we going to do with that? And there's good storage under that, so we've lost a mm. lot, but... Um, we lost a lot of storage because of it. But because of taking that out, we now have the fifth seat and a second fridge because we have lots of things that we eat and drink. Um, yeah. well, coconuts and beers at the moment, <laughs> and... I'm sure there'll be something more useful soon. Yeah, well Daisy's not eating any food yet. But we're going to start her this week because she is just putting everything in her mouth now and chewing everything and starting to dribble a bit more. And She's very interested in food at the yeah. moment. So As a four and a half month old is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess that's how we fell into bus life. We didn't really have any thought out plan. Um, we literally spent our house deposit that we'd saved for for years on buying a bus. Um, probably not the most smartest move a lot of people might say or think, but um, we've had a ball so far. Nothing we've ever done is too smart though, do you? <laughs> yeah, we don't really think a lot before we do things, but sometimes that's the best way to live. Well, hopefully. <laughs> oh, P.S. I'd rather be looking at this than paying off my mortgage. Yeah. Thanks for listening everyone and we hope you like listening to, what do you say really, we hope you like? Us talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, stay tuned for more videos from us in the future. I think they, I think you can su subscribe, so you could do that. On the YouTube. <laughs> See ya.